Hello guys, the scene that you're looking at was created by Pascal Shanti. I hope I pronounced that well. And I'm going to show you how you can easily recreate this in Blender with three add-ons. And the add-ons are all free. We are going to use the Bagapai add-on, Blender Kit add-on, and Quick Zoo Bridge. This is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial. I will just show you the basics. I'm not creating the whole scene. So you want to create your own awesome post apocalyptic render this can be done with ease let's get started so here in blender i have a train imported you can download your own train models if you want this model i can upload it on sketchfab for you and then inside the train you can see it's just basic textures so when you look at the post apocalyptic scenes one of the things that really stands out is this ivies growing all over the place you know you have random plants growing on everything and you can easily create that with the free IV gen by Bagapai. All we do is position our cursor here and then Bagapai add-on installed. Select our object that we want to place the IV on. We press J and we select IV. And you can see the IV is quickly generated. And this is all done using the geometry nodes. So we can go ahead and move it and modify it. Let me bring this close. You can increase the radius, the different values, the height. So let me increase the height so it goes up to the ceiling. I'm playing with the surface offset and adjust the scale and randomize the position to increase the loops. So you can just play with that till you get what you like. And then if we hit our rendered mode, you can see the IV is instantly generated with textures. What we can also do is add the HDRI environment. So this is where the Blender Kit comes in. If you have installed Blender Kit, you can see it here. You can literally search for anything. Let's search for our HDRI environment. Then for the materials, we can look for a rusted metal under materials. Search for rust. And you can see a lot of rusted materials that we can use and we can just drag and drop the material so that will download and instantly apply it by this rusted metallic pin if there are some really good textures here you can just drag and drop them so our environment has downloaded so here you can find a lot of good textures and just drag and drop them and for the floor outside let's add a plane and we can go into quick zoom and import a grass asset just as for that to blender so with our grass imported from quickzo we can select the grass and move this aside select one of the grass select the plane using the backup pie add-on you can press j and scatter so apply skill and press ok so then we can select this plane tap into edit mode and subdivide it let's just give 50 subdivisions we can see that the grass is rotated towards this direction so we can change the rotation the x direction at 90 and it's upright then the next thing we need to do is reduce the minimum distance there we have grass everywhere as well as you can increase the height of the grass so scale maximum increase that now we want to reduce the density just to something that your system can handle but since it's using geometry nodes you can use more particles than usual so there you already have your grass you can do the, this on the other side if you select the plane we can change the material you can add a new material for this i'll just use a dark brown color but you can still go super detailed and use a texture for that plane to form the ground it's up to you you can also just duplicate this and shift it over here and then we have grass on both sides so you can see this is just a super easy way to create something you can also click on the body outside put our cursor here and pressing j can generate iv now we have iv generated on the train i'll move this change the position so i hope that gives you a quick idea of how this can be done with ease so it depends on how detailed you want this to be you can put in more time so that's it for this tutorial you can find the link to these add-ons in the description of this video and if you found this helpful leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video